Hey guys, Organized Elena, and today's video is going to be a budget setup for the fourth week of September. Um, we are in my squad goals planner, um, which I have switched over to be my budget planner. If you didn't see last week's budget review, I will definitely link it above so that you can see that. But I am going to do um, a black and white theme next week. And I ended up creating my own stickers. Let me show you what I created here. Um, I created my own boxes and instead of having to write the different categories here, how you see I have savings, income, bills, expenses, I have actually um, added them and made my own stickers that say bills, savings, income, and expenses, my own icons, and my own quote. And this one says, you've got to tell your money what to do or it will leave. It's a quote by Dave Ramsey. And I also think in my sidebar here, I'm going to um, list out all this week's budget on the sidebar. So. I wanted to use these stickers um, this upcoming week to try and see how it comes out. I'm using that along with um, colorful boxes. I might also pull out my budget sticker book. We'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is pretty much all of the stickers laid down. In the top here, I'm gonna have my income, and then it will be my savings, bills, and then expenses. Um, I'm gonna add my budget on the side here, and this is where I'm going to do my review. Um, I kinda laid it out last week, and you saw how I put the stickers here, and I had Sunday through Saturday, and originally, I thought I was gonna add up each week I mean each day and put all of the um, the amounts here but I changed my mind because I realized I really don't care about how much I spend each day I care more about the categories so that's what I'm gonna do this week I'm gonna just add up all of the bills that I paid add up all of my expenses and break down the categories here and add up all of the income and savings um, that we accumulated throughout the week um, if you if this is your first video then you may not know but my husband and I are do have a variable income so I pretty much know like basically what we're gonna get but I don't know exactly until like the week is kind of over. So as money comes in, I kind of allocate it to different um, priorities and I go from top priority to the lowest category. So now I'm gonna just write everything in as far as what I know I'm getting as far as income and expenses um, here. Um, and then write out the bills for the week.
Okay, this is this week's setup. Um, as you can see, I've added income of $21.50 um, so far that I know of this upcoming week. Um, and then I have listed out the expenses and the bills that I am expecting this week. I, I do a partner program. It's with family and friends and it's where everyone puts in a certain amount of money. We have decided to do 200 uh, each month and then we rotate who gets the money. So if it's five of us, everybody puts in $200 and then um, at the end of the month, one of us gets $1,000 and then it rotates. The next month is someone else's turn in the next month. So every five months, you basically get $1,000 to kind of help you out. And you're putting in the exact same money as, it, as if you would save it. So if it was five months and I put aside $200, I would definitely have $1,000, but it just, it makes you um, more obligated and committed to actually saving the money when you have a group of people that's doing it with you. So I do um, do that and I have a bunch of different ways that I like try and save money and, and the more ways that I find that make it fun for me, the more money I actually save. So that's uh, one thing that's due this week is the partner program. I have daycare that I have to pay of $300. The pool guy, which I was supposed to pay last week, but I did not. So um, rolling it over to this week and um, it's due this week. So I'm definitely going to pay it this week. Um, my internet bill, which is 120. My credit card, I'm gonna put 300 on that. I am saving $45. Um, and I also have, you know, my additional savings, which I do, which is Acorns, Capital, all of that other stuff, which I should add here. Um, Cause I wanted to start adding the, the beginning balances. Yeah, I might do that. Um, but that's also going to go there and then I'm going to track how much I have saved by the end of the week. Um, my tithe, which is 10% of my income. Gas, which I get on Wednesday and Saturday and that's going to be $40. And um, the hair expense is for my children, which they go to the hairdresser every Saturday and it's $30. Um, and I also do some type of activity with them. It may be getting them a toy or attending some type of event, but we do set aside $40 a week for that. Um, $260 for food. I am going to try and keep this at $260, which is still pretty like high, but it's better than the $372 that we did last week. So I'm trying to just bring it down a little bit at a time because I'm trying to be really... Uh, reasonable with myself and honest <laughs> and I know that trying to do 150 a week is just not uh, feasible for us right now. I am going out of town from the 26th to the 29th to FinCon um, 2018 so I've set aside $100 for like spending money for myself for traveling. I am I already have my meals included because I paid for the meal plan for FinCon. So this is really is just for like any Ubers I have to get or anything um, outside that I just decide to purchase. But it, it's not for food. And then I have miscellaneous $200 and that's going to be spending money for my husband or for the house or anything else that may come up that's kind of crazy throughout the week. So this is my budget setup. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I really like these stickers. Um, if you guys want something like this in the shop, make sure that you leave a comment um, below in. I will. I can add it to the shop if y'all are interested. But I really like this because it's you know it makes it a little bit easier for me as far as setup i don't have to do a whole whole bunch um i probably will add some more boxes of some sort like decorative box boxes because i do like that 
on this spread. But for now, this is very um, functional and I believe it's gonna work well. So if you wanna see how this budget comes out, make sure that you check back in on Saturday. I will be doing a budget recap, showing you how this week kinda turned out for me, what I paid, what I didn't pay, how much I saved, and how much we made throughout the week. Well, that's it guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye guys.